Um, but essentially, all I've achieved at the university is that I eat my way to 11 kilograms of rice pudding, which is like 22 tins every <laughs> weekend. Um, so that's what I'm going to about the university. Yeah, it was pretty. Um, but one of the things that I did learn at the university is that my mum raised me oddly. Um, I iron in everything that I own, and um, like, um, my friends explained to me when they caught me doing my ironing that it's weird if you iron your knickers. Um, but I iron. Right. Apparently, it's um weird, weird if you iron them and put them in a the drawer. Um, I just put like a nice crease up to give them some, for myself some direction in life, but um, apparently it's still weird. <laughs> apparently it's still weird, and um, so I wrote not care about it because. I did nothing else with my life, so I was clearly the topic. It was only when I left home that I began to see that perhaps my mum had overdone domesticating me. At university, I brought with it the shocking revelation that most people don't iron their knickers. Or they're bedding on their towels or their jeans on the top. Well, I'd admit, I'll admit to me this news is something of a shock, but an iron isn't a necessity, just more of an accessory, and certainly not for using every day. In fact, it seems I was the only one brought up to think that a can of Coca-Cola is so much more than just a drink. Pour a can into your sink, leave an hour and then rinse. To leave your bathroom sparkling the heat. After several conversations about my habit it appears, to keep air freshness and bleach for emergency is weird. They seem to find it tragic and um, that's when faced with things stay. Oh my god, I can't they seem to find it tragic and in fact when facing the second on fabric, I know like if you will get some out of cheap. However, uh, following this some discussion I have been given to a bike of second cleanliness to many shows you lead a boring life. With a more oh, hang on. So all that tiny waste could be easily replaced with a much more worthwhile list of things to do. So after mulling it over, I have finally decided that perhaps it would be fun to me but I might get more exciting. So now I think it is official that it would be beneficial to sometimes ask myself, too keen or not too keen? Yeah. Yeah.